Ladies and gentlemen, this Red Gaming to the Com video. Let us discuss a recent series of tweets from Court Stratton. Now, he's a senior programmer for Sony's ICE team, and he was taken to Twitter to proclaim some of the recent successes that his team has been having in regards to improving the performance of the PS4. Now, I've done this as an article as well because there are numerous um, bits of information that I'm linking to, so it's just a lot easier to do so if you want to follow up and find more stuff about this. So anyway, he started out by saying, finally wrote the ASM I was looking forward to. Barely uh, early results. PS4 surface tiling slash detiling on the CPU is 10 to 100 times faster now. Sim delicious. Sim delicious, by the way, is a pun on single instruction multi-data, which of course CPUs and GPUs now pretty much encapsulate. Now, he said the the previous versions of the hardware code were pretty bad. Pretty much copies of reference code from the hardware documents evaluated in full per fragment with mem copy at the end. Mem copy, by the way, is a C slash C programming language um, command. It basically just copies a piece of data from lo one location to another. Anyway, he said and concluded with in this regard, plus an awful memory access pattern, I need to restructure things to write full cache lines. Now, before we go further into this, there was another question that was asked regarding anstropic filtering. I personally uh, created a recent video and article regarding anstropic filtering, and you might remember it concerns Thief, which actually um, features trilinear filtering um, uh, rather than anstropic, which is obviously significantly worse. So, what basically uh, Court replied is, and I quote, No hardware SDK's issues that I'm aware of. Sounds like a question for the developer. Because the question was originally, like, what's going on? Why does the PS4 struggle with adding anstropic filtering? Like, if you were to, for example, load Bioshock Infinite or Tomb Raider or any game, really, with a built-in benchmark, you were to run it with and without anstropic filtering on a PC, you would notice very marginal performance difference. Now, remember the Court Stratton is actually integral. His team, the ICE team, uh, actually created a lot of the stuff that runs on the PS3's SPUs. And that, of course, worked on, um, or rather his team, were integral to the performance of titles like Uncharted. So he obviously knows his stuff and has been working on the graphics libraries of the PS3 and PS4. Now just to clarify a few points before I close out. Firstly, regarding the tiling, they are not referring to like tiled resources as in, you know, the textures that Microsoft have been discussing with say DirectX. No, no, no. This is actually geometry related and pretty much uh, the subdivision of geometry. Uh, I've got more about this once again in the article. In addition to that, I would like to point out, by the way, that the PS4, as well as OpenGL as a whole, technically can actually do a form of tiled resources. Just Google it yourselves if you want more information. Finally, I'd like to clear up one final point, because detiling or tiling detiling 10 to 100 times faster and immediately you know i'm sure mo many of you won't expect this but i'm pretty sure i'm going to get at least one or two comments that are going to be like oh my god this means the game's going to be running like 100 times better graphics no not really i mean we're obviously going to be seeing vast improvements in certain areas and it certainly will help to improve frame rates but at the same time we won't be seeing situations where we're going to be seeing a game that was running at like 20 frames a second suddenly going to like, you know, 500 frames a second or something ridiculous. Finally, just one last point that I'd like to add in. He was also discussing um, regarding the PS4's CPU and GPU. 
because the user was questioning the significance of AVX and AVX2 on the AMD Jaguar. And he said, I don't really have any idea. I do very little CPU side SM SIMD work on the PS4's CPU. This tiling code has to run on the host as well. So it's just utilizing SSE2. By the way, these are instruction sets on the CPU, just to clarify. And he also said, I think they serve different needs. Job sizes, smaller jobs with tighter latency requirements are better fit for the CPU SIMD. This is regarding... Um, whether it's better to run this type of stuff on the CPU or the GPU. Anyway, I think that's just about it for this particular video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'll see you soon. Take care. Bye for now.